Hi friends, Sunny here. Welcome, welcome. So this is my friend, Penny, and we're gonna do a little uh, Q&A today. Actually, Penny, scoots a little closer. Sorry, I guess we're gonna get both of us in that camera. Let's scoot, scoot closer. Um, on what it's like to be an amateur competitor. So we're gonna ask Penny a few questions. Um, and let's get started. So Penny, what do you do for a living? Massage therapy. I massage think. therapy. Okay. And how old were you when you started ballroom dancing? As an adult, uh, I think I was just under 40. Okay. So late 30s. Uh, and um, how many years have you been dancing? Now you don't need to be precise if you don't reveal your age, but I think people would love to hear about that. About 25 years. Excellent. Um, and what initially got you interested in trying ballroom dance? I'd always wanted to try ballroom dance. I did uh, West Coast Swing and uh, Country Two-Step back in my early 20s. But I always wanted to ballroom, but I didn't have any partners or too busy at that time. So how did you even come to learn about ballroom dance? Did you see it on TV or just knew about it from? No, I was driving past the studio and it said, eight lessons for $88. And I thought, oh, wow, I'm gonna learn to ballroom dance. Awesome. Um, so um, what attracted you to trying competition? Because, because Penny is a competitive um, ballroom dancer. Actually, just um, when I first started dancing, I thought I'll learn to dance. And then they start getting private lessons and they ask you, do you want to compete? And I'm like, what is that? And they're like, oh, look at these videos. And I'm like, I want to look like that. So <laughs> yeah, it's like the world's most amazing sickness. It just grows on you like a cancer, but in a really healthy way. Um, so um, what styles have you competed in? American Smooth, um, American Rhythm, Latin, and currently standard. Whoa, guys, so we have a nine and 10 dancer here, full meal deal, okay. Uh, so of all the styles you've done in terms of genres that you just mentioned, which is your favorite? That's a hard question, I don't have a favorite. Uh, currently, I'm enjoying standard because it, to me, feels more elegant, more technical, and I really like technical. Um, but different times, different moods. I like American for showcase more than competition. Yeah, um, I definitely, for I always throw American in for showcase um, purposes. Um, so, um, do you have a favorite dance within the ballroom that you like to do? Beanie's Waltz, definitely. Audience <laughs> definitely favorite? The best, yeah. um, do you social dance as well? I do. Um, and what skill levels have you competed in? Everything from beginning to championship. Awesome. Um, and which age divisions have you competed in? You know, I've competed in, I'm not sure exactly which ones they are in American Smooth, but probably, help me out a little bit, what is that? Um, well, if you're doing Pro-Am, it would be, that there's all sorts of levels, like Bronze 1, Bronze 2. Yeah. If you're doing Amateur, it's whether it's Latin, yeah. Standard, Rhythm, doesn't matter. That's just Bronze, Silver, Gold. In American, it was, it started out in Bronze and got up into Silver. And in standard, it started as bronze and went up into championship. So I've done American with Pro-Am and standard is Pro-Am and um, amateur, amateur. Oh my gosh, okay guys, I gotta delve into this. We have an expert here who's done Pro-Am and amateur. But first, do you compete locally, nationally, and or internationally? Well, not so much international unless you call going to Canada international, which is kind of cool. That's Love crossing a national border. So, local and um, national and like Canada. So that would be international. Okay. We'll go with that. Um, and then how often do you compete? Well, we're talking pre-COVID or post-COVID. Pre-COVID, it was like six times a year. And uh, since COVID, it's been like three times a year. Okay. But we're ramping up, so we're getting better. <laughs> okay. Did you ever do any of those video comps during COVID where you just send in a video? No, we thought about it, but no. no. Okay, just curious. Yeah. Um, have you, um, so you currently dance amateur. You have an amateur partner. Um, how many amateur dance partners have you had in competition? In competition, two. 
if you call uh, more like a Jack and Jill competition, it would be two, but for most of the time, it's just been the one for standard. Um, and then this is really interesting to me because you have competed both in pro-am and amateur um, divisions. What is your favorite aspect of doing each of those divisions? Because they're quite different. You know, with the pro-am, you feel like you're taken care of the whole time. Um, you feel very special. And the pro always wants to make the amateur look awesome. With Pro-Am, it's like all about the showcase, all about how pretty, how elegant your pro makes you be and or makes you perform, but also how much better you're getting. With Amateur Amateur, it's definitely a partnership. You have 50 to 60% of the partnership. Um, it's your job to help coach each other and to understand each other, communicate well, show up for each other, and be patient. Definitely have to be patient. Um, and so how many, when you did do Pro-Am, how many Pro-Am partners did you compete with? Three. Three, wow, okay. And um, what do you find to be the biggest challenge in competing in the amateur division? The amateur, it, it's just you are so taken care of when you work with a pro. With the amateur, it's just communication, getting there on time, um, wanting to progress faster. So there really is, a, I love amateur, amateur, it's awesome, but it's a lot more responsibility than when you're working with a pro. Mm -hmm. um, and then what is your favorite thing about your current dance partner? He's awesome. <laughs> So, His um, patience is my favorite thing. Honestly, having somebody who is patient that works really hard, that doesn't get upset or start to sweat the small stuff, that's the best thing. Yeah, guys, and I, mean, I can't even tell you, well, he, he is adorable. Um, I can't even tell you guys how important a point that Penny just touched on. And that is, you know, when people come to me like, I want a partner, and they're only looking at the skill. And I gotta tell you, in six months, the skill level is diddly squat. I don't care if they're a beginner, they're gonna be the same level. It's much more important that they're kind and respectful and liable, that you have similar goals, you know, that you can tolerate sharing a hotel room. I mean, it's, it's um, yeah, I've always heard- He like, has a great skill level, by the way, too. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good as well, very experienced. But um, I definitely feel the personality and the common goals trumps any sort of skill level because your partnership, I don't care how good they are, is gonna crash and burn if they're amazing and they're a total jack wad to you. Go, same for men and ladies. Um, so anyway, um, we're pushing that eight minute mark. I'm gonna cut the video here and I'll do a, a, another one that's that's shorter because I definitely have more questions for Penny. So, um, and actually if you have any questions, Penny, comment below and I bet I can follow up with her later. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow with um, some more questions for Penny. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>